Now, today in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you guys can unlock your FPS in Roblox, okay? I'm actually going to be showing you guys a few ways and just talking about it in general. So, let's just get right into the video. Okay, now, the first method I'm actually going to show you guys is the NVIDIA app method, okay? Now, if you guys do not have an NVIDIA GPU, you do not need to leave and click off the video, guys. You guys just need to skip to the other part of the video where I can kind of just talk about it and show how to actually unlock FPS and what you have to do. But for the NVIDIA gamers, okay, we're going to download our NVIDIA app, okay? We're going to click download just accept all and download right here let this bad boy load up i know it actually downloaded so we're gonna actually open up our nvidia app right here once it downloads it's gonna just slowly open up it shouldn't take that long so after you click concrete agree and continue okay i could even speak trying to uninstall download updates now so when it opens up you're just gonna literally just click next and whatever optimize just click next stable overlay next and then skip to app so we're gonna go to straight to graphics once you guys go to graphics you're gonna see all your programs and apps right here now i only have roblox right now now so we're gonna go to our roblox it should be optimized automatically we're gonna go down until we see driver settings now if you guys see this thing there should be say show legacy mode you guys are gonna click that settings because we have more settings okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna see max frame rate now what you guys can actually do you guys can turn this on put your max frame rate to whatever i think it's maximum is 1000 now keep in mind having your fps unlocked is only really good for low-end pcs okay now if you're on a mid tier or high tier whatever tier pc bro and you're at least getting over like 100 fps i don't really feel like you need maximum okay because then your pc is going to be overheating or just using more performance but yeah this is how so we go to max frame rate click apply it should say 1000 fps and then performance we can just put this performance and literally click update and then it'll just optimize it even more for us and if you guys go to global settings now you can scroll down to the same thing max frame rate now this would be for every single game so when you put on and you guys go to like 120 or i mean that's a 120 like 206 or whatever or whatever this will always be your frame limit in any game so if you guys want a 250 in every single game it's going to be 250 all right now for the people who actually do not have an nvidia gpu okay i'm back in roblox just for a second just to show you guys about the fps maximum frame rate now i need to explain something real quick just for you guys you do not need to unlock your fps if you guys cannot at least hit any of these fps charts okay now understand if you're under 60 okay you guys can just 240 it'll be unlocked but i feel like you should not have it over 240 if you don't need it now if you guys just monitor refresh rate is not even past 240 or past 200 past 180 i don't feel like you guys need it now personally my monitor's refresh rate is on 165 so normally i would just go 180 and if you guys have like 144 hertz monitor you guys can go 160 you might still feel a little bit of delay kind of does feel more smooth when you guys do have your maximum fps and it kind of does heat up your pc more so i don't really think you guys want to risk it that bad but if you guys do for my low end users you guys literally can just go to 240 and you guys won't probably touch it but you might get to it okay you might get to it before we get back to the video are you guys tired of having bad ping in any game you guys play i want to introduce you guys to exit lag okay exit lag is actually going to lower your ping and actually give you guys a little bit of an fps boost also it's real-time optimizations as multi-internet fps boost traffic shaper it's anything you name in every game you play you can really customize your whole gaming experience and it automatically optimizes your connection custom settings for hardcore gamers there's a desktop account that only also works for mobile and support team is always ready to help you guys now for people on higher end pcs or just any pc and you guys want to just unlock it let me show you all right now this is how you would unlock it normally so we would just literally go to fish trap so you guys go to fish trap you guys want to go to configure settings the download link will actually be in the description so you guys can download fish trap now you're gonna have global settings if this is not if this option is not here you guys might want to open up your roblox and then open up fish shop so this is what i mean you guys want to open up your roblox you guys can keep your fish shop open now this option might not show so you might be on fast flags but your game needs to be open so look if we let our game load and we're just gonna switch up gonna switch up fish shop once again while this game is opening so we yeah we open our game we're gonna open up fish shop go back to the configure settings so that's what i need you guys to basically do you guys gonna go to global settings now we're gonna go straight to frame limit now frame limit it says unlock frame limit for roblox going above 240 is not recommended now we're gonna put is 9999 now you can either do that or you can put a thousand okay now either should work if it both does not work if they both do not work when you guys try these values another place you guys could go to is block shop okay now block shop should have this feature still and we're not actually going to download the most latest one we're actually going to download this other version now the version I'm, the version i'm actually going to install is the 2.9.1 because this is like the old block shop i do have the fast like method in here if you guys are looking for that also but we're going to just open up this this will be in the link 
in the description and we're going to download it now it's just going to download the exact same as we downloaded fish trap i think this one is a little bit quicker because fish trap has more options we're going to click ok and now when we go back as you guys can see you're trying to install the version but the latest is 2.10 would you like to download it no we do not want that we're going to go over here just want to click install now before we click install you guys want to go to configure block shop settings we're going to go straight to bootstrapper and background updates you guys want to make sure this is off because if this is on it's going to keep automatically going to the latest version and that might be an issue there might also be a setting somewhere hidden but i don't know so when you go to block shop we're going to go back to our engine settings now i knew you guys seen this before because we did use this before a lot in my videos if you guys are new if you guys been here or if you guys are new here i always be posting on this frame limit we're going to have another frame limit it says zero for defaults if you guys want to use roblox native keeping it on zero that just means we're just going to be using the roblox cap limit the same as fish shop we can put a thousand or we can put nine 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 now when i actually tried the block shot method it did not work the first time i did it but the other day when i tried it on the fish trap it did work so i do not know if it's going to perfectly work right now because the time you guys watch this video it might still be working it might still not be working and sometimes this happens too it says getting the latest block shop and it's going to literally just make you guys go straight to 2.10 no matter what and then it's just going to keep doing this i don't know why roblox keeps doing this they're kind of removing the fact that we can't even have frame limits bro like i'm over here trying to show you guys how to get frame limits and they're just giving me issues already bro but honestly guys i feel like the best way to unlock your fps it would need to be with your graphics okay you need to use either if you're on amd or just anything there's always going to be a way to maximum your frame limit okay now with nvidia we have the nvidia app for amd or just anyone with ryzen you guys have your own sort of software to actually maximize your fps you guys are always going to have your global settings bro now if either of methods do not work for you guys that might mean that roblox has fully patched it now some devices some people's devices are still working i have a friend that's all the way in europe his device is still works with it mine doesn't sadly but i will be posting an updated video on how to actually unlock your fps once to get a better method because these methods are trash bro these methods are not even working now bro like they're working but they're not working at the same time like it makes no sense bro i really do not know what roblox is doing they don't want no one modifying their client they don't want no one having max frame rates they don't want no one having unlimited fps bro and honestly it doesn't really make sense because the more people that you can have on the platform with optimized pcs the more players you're gonna get bro the more money they are going to make from their platform bro because literally i cannot believe that they are actually just removing everything they removed the fast flex removing the bootstrappers the exploits are still handing up bro i don't know how the exploits are still going to be standing up okay now people are still exploiting using externals and everything else just to get as much fps boost possible people are just going crazy with these things they were making their own things and everything is going to get bannable real soon because you know you cannot modify the client but it's all right it is all right but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys in the next one comment down below what you guys actually think about this and what is roblox doing bro now if you guys actually made it this far into the video this long video comment down the word cloudy okay i'll reply to your comment and give you guys a hug but i'll see you guys in the next one peace peace